Hello, my name is Randy Davis. I'm with AC Controls out of the Greenville, North Carolina branch. And today we're going to be uh, talking about the Asbill magnetic flow meter. A mag meter uses the principles of Faraday's law. A conductive fluid moving through this pipeline will create a magnetic field. The flow causes a, vo causes a voltage signal, which is sensed by, by these electrodes on, on each side of the flow tube. The voltage increases or decreases uh, depending on the velocity of the flow with the voltage being proportional to the flow of the liquid itself. The uh, mag meter actually is made in, in three different versions. There's the wafer version that you see here, the sanitary tri-clamp version you see here, and also you can, it is available in the 150 and 300 pound flange versions. The flow tube itself which is a mirror finished PFA liner with a dovetail groove construction and an embedded uh, punch plate which helps secure the, the, uh, the liner. Electrodes are available in, in various uh, alloys in, in, from stainless steel, platinum, Hasselloy C, and, uh, tantalum, and others. As with most uh, flow instruments, its installation is very important. It's necessary that you always put the uh, meter in line with it being at least five pipe diameters downstream from uh, from where the meter is located. If you if the meter is being installed where there's going to be a control valve or a pump, you need ten pipe diameters upstream. Now we're going to give you a short configuration of the meter itself. This is not a total configuration, but this is a pretty simple that pretty much will have the meter ready to go uh, in just a few minutes. As you can see, we have a mode button on here, and as the meter is, reads now, it's just giving you a, a rate, the flow, and unit of measure. To get to the engineering mode, which we do the configuration in, we simply push it button till we get to the damping, and keep pushing up till we come to the engineering mode. Press this button to enter engineering, and then hit the first button, tells us we're in the mode. And the first thing they ask you to do is an ID set. If you have an, a tag number that you would like to put on this meter, you simply move the scroll across and can move it up and down this, and put any name or number that you would like to put into it. It'll, it'll go through all, the total alphabet and then also back into the number sequence. When you finish that, you simply go to the end go up to the next thing that we'll program is the function set and you basically are going to give it a pulse output or a or a relay output so either one you want you want to do on that and we're going to leave it at pulse and go up to the next one which is the the x factor now you will not need an x factor in a integral unit that you see here uh, the integral unit automatically comes with all the electronics embedded in the electronics from the flow tube itself. If you're using a remote version, there will be an X factor that will be under the cap and the junction box of, of the uh, flow tube itself. You'll simply take that number, put it into what, it's, what the excitation number is. We won't change this and we'll just keep moving the uh, cursor. And then you, the next thing you'll do is put the diameter of the pipe in there. So if you use this one, it was actually a quarter inch but, or half inch. But uh, you would normally, if you had a one inch, you would just simply put in the, the pipe size of what you want in it. And, and when that's done, you finish that. The next mode that we'll go to is the actual range of flow. You can set this up from anywhere from zero to nine 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 and uh, just simply again by pressing the cursor and moving moving the up and down arrows till you get the uh, range that you would like. This is also where you change the unit of measure. Right now it's set up as gallons per minute but if you wanted to you can change it to gallons per second and just different you can actually change it to mass flow readings but you just keep scrolling through and do you find what you want. When you're finished, you basically finish that function. 
and you go to the specific gravity. If you know the specific gravity, and it is important that you know the specific gravity of the, uh, the meteor that's going through here, you'll simply put in with that, that number again. This one is set up for one because that is the uh, specific gravity of, of water. There are other parameters that you can set up like high flow, for high flow and low flow cutoff, high flow and low flow alarms that, uh, that are pretty simple to do. But at this point, you pretty much have already set up your meter, it's powered and ready to go. There are other maintenance parameters and measurement parameters that you may want to look into, but for the most part, it is set and ready to go at this point. And when you're finished, you just simply hit the mode button and you're back into measuring mode in the display and it is set up and ready to go. As you can see, I gave you the simple version of, of, of the setup today, but this, it does show the simplicity of this unit as far as setting it up and, and the ease of, of setting and configuring this, this meter. Thank you again for allowing us to show you one of the many products that AC Controls supplies. Be sure to give us a call at inside sales staff or outside sales staff. We'll be more than happy to assist you with any application you have going on. You can reach us at any of our locations in Charlotte, Greenville, Richmond, and Charleston. Thank you once again.